Hello and welcome. My name is Carsten Lutzen. I'm an Agile coach and a Scrum master. Today I'll share something on how I do uh, coloring of uh, big flip charts, banners and stuff like that using different uh, tools. If you like these videos, please subscribe and share. That would be super awesome. Um, over the last four or five years, I've produced quite a lot of flip charts and 95% of them have some kind of banner in the top where I like to put some kind of background color in. And I know of at least three techniques that um, I have used to yeah, varying degree of success and I'll just uh, go through them in this video. Um, so the three techniques or the three tools, I've outlined them here. And just for the fun of it, I'll start with this one in the middle. So this one in the middle is using pins or, pa or markers, uh, you know, the big jumbo size uh, that you can find in a lot of uh, office supplies, which gives a super nice even color um, if you are a bit precise. But as you can also see, it takes some time uh, to get it all the way through and that's that's back to uh, some of the pros and cons right this takes quite a lot of time and there is a risk of when you apply a pen or a marker this much that you get some kind of a bleed through due from the ink and i know a lot of these flip charts says that they're bleed resistant but i've come to realize that that's not always the case. Some markers are just very generous with the, uh, the amount of ink. But I, I will say that it is a nice color. It's, it's vibrant and uh, very nice to look at uh, in this. And a lot of us have pens lying around, so it's not, it's not a big deal. One of the things I've been using the most are simple crayons like this and I think if you also take a look at what's inside the box you can see that these have had it's a fair share of uh, use especially this little yellow one that I always use when I uh, draw paper so these ones are literally the ones you if you have kids that your kids draw with can find them in uh, bigger boxes or smaller boxes and the nice thing about these, uh, it doesn't take much time to just apply color like this. And you can do it somewhat precisely and it leaves some texture on the paper, which is often not that visible from afar. And you can still rather quickly color large areas of the, of the paper. So this is by far my... Uh, my go-to method because it's it's fast not messy that will make sense in a second um, you also get some some okay colors not as vibrant as this uh, but still definitely uh, usable for, uh, for banners. If I have a lot of time uh, and don't worry about a mess, then these uh, chalk-based chalk -based pastels are actually uh, quite nice. So um, when we open up here, then you can see in here we have this and we have these different colors. So let's see. We, for instance, pick this one and put it here. We can very fast apply color to uh, to our flip chart. Then the trick with these, uh, then you can buy some uh, sponges, or you can also just use uh, some kind of a uh, pa paper tissue, and then you even it out like this and this is where you need to be a bit careful because 
using a tissue, paper tissue like this, tends to get it outside the outside the box that that you want to have it inside. But it doesn't take very much time to actually get it in in the entire box. So again. I would also say this is actually a fast way and especially if you are uh, drawing some kind of green grass and then big blue sky then quickly doing it and then running it over with a paper tissue is, is super fast. The problem is it's messy. You have chalk dust on this uh, paper tissue down here, also on the floor and on your hands more or less uh, all places. But the nice part about it is that you can do gradients. You can do some quite advanced stuff with um, with these chalk-based things. And then it's often back to personal preference. What do you like the most? So personally, I use this 90% of the time because it's fast, It's me it's not messy. And then if I am to do more, uh, I don't know, artistic, whatever we call it, stuff, then I use these ones. I I all never use uh, pens for big, for bigger surfaces. I'm hoping this has given you some inspiration and ideas on how to, uh, to do coloring on flip charts and the different techniques that uh, I use. And if you like these videos, please subscribe and share. That would be super awesome. And as always, comments, questions, ideas and feedback is more than welcome. Have a super awesome day.